Today, I'm going to be showing you how to play the ocarina. So, I know last video I seemed sort of bad, but now I got better. That's a song I really didn't know how to play before the song of time, but also... So yeah, I'm sort of good at the ocarina now, but not the best, but I'll teach you how to play. So, that right there is called a fipple. Do not touch it. Do not. It can mess up your ocarina forever, and you'll need to buy a new one, and they're like $30, so I would not recommend touching the fipple. I'm not saying it with an N. I'm saying fipple. F-I-P-L-E. Um, anyway, that, these two holes, they're, they're like, the holes, you always want to touch them, they're like the holes, let's say, on a recorder, on the bottom, or on a clarinet on the bottom, you always touch, normally, except for a few very rare songs that you don't touch it, but normally you do, normally you do, so in most songs, you're gonna keep your hands on this, except for, for, well, you're always going to have at least one thumb on it. For some songs, you go... Just to switch a bunch of notes at a time with a click finger. I guess because... Let's see. Well, actually, not the same, but it sounds sort of similar. But yeah, how to play the ocarina. So as you can see, my hand, you go like this. So the front's going to look like this. And uh, so you should the front should look like this. Give me like two seconds. And the back's gonna go like this. The back. So your left thumb is gonna go on the left hole, and your right thumb is gonna go on the right hole. And as you can see, your pinky goes um on the all the way to the right hole. Your right pinky goes to the hole all the way on the right. Your uh, ring finger goes on t on the hole all uh second to the right your middle f finger goes on the one second to the left on your right hand and your pointer finger goes all the way to the right on your right hand all the, all the way to the left on your right hand um it, same thing for this but on the bottom as you can see some ocarinas are different from this this is a 12 full single chamber uh chambered ocarina so if you have a 12 full there are pendant ocarinas and you might have sweet potato ocarina which have most times seven holes yeah i don't know uh but yeah um anyway let's start on some songs so song time first thing you're gonna want to do is uh lift up your whole right hand and your point in your uh um your ring finger on your left hand that's going to be the first note for song time then uh for the second note you're going to put all of them uh every single finger except for your pinky so now now you're just going to lift up your pointer and middle so for the next note so it should sound like So that's the first three notes of the song of time. Um, well, I also recommend just getting this. It tells you how to play all the songs. This, um, so. And um, on this, the white means open and the black means closed. So you can look at this and that's the song of time right Whoa, why is that so bright blue? That's the song time. Why does it look blue when you put it, like, right next to it? I think I'll turn all the lights on. Just give me a second, guys. Okay, so now it shouldn't turn blue due to lighting problems. So, 
So the song on the bottom is song time. Why does it still turn blue? Whatever. That's song time. So you can do that for yourself if you have the um, the 12 holes in the chamber ocarina with the holes in the same spots as this. Also, I'm not counting this, but for sweet potatoes, there are is only one hole in the back for sweet potatoes ocarinas. But the sweet potato ocarina was the first ocarina to look like this. Fun fact. Um. Anyways, I think I've taught you enough about ocarina. So live your dreams and play ocarina. Bye. Um. By the way, the ocarina I got, I got it off Amazon. But you probably shouldn't get yours off Anim Amazon. You should probably get yours off STL. I think STL Ocarinas. But uh, they're they're really expensive there. That's why I got mine off Amazon. They're seventy five dollars there. So that's why I got mine off Amazon because they're only like twenty dollars. Um, um. Yeah. So you should probably get yours off STL because they're way better quality and also this one if you didn't notice they break really easily see so i to go like this and color it but it's sort of hard to tell from far away um yeah and also a bunch of pieces came off so i had to glue them back together with crazy glue so yeah but anyways, I, I recommend STL. I just got mine off uh, Amazon because I'm cheap. But you should probably get yours off STL. Anyway, bye. Wait. Actually, one last fact. Get it off STL. Okay, bye.